Hey, hey, it's that time again. We've got some ship to get done. Not too much, but I've got a couple of interesting sales this week that didn't come from eBay. I'll tell you more about that as we get going. So let's go get ship done. my little array of stuff that I have to ship. Um, two of these sales came from Facebook Marketplace. There you go. It's happening. We're shipping for Facebook Marketplace. I'm going to let you know how that goes when that all gets settled. But first, I'm going to start with my easiest item, which is a pillow. Of course, a pillow is the easiest. Uh, this pillow is a what I call a tapestry pillow. It's vintage. It's got the cool velvet back on it. And I sold this pillow for $22.49 in my 25% off sale. So the first thing I'm going to do is just make sure I get all these little fuzzies off of it. Just because I've had this one for a little bit. So you want to make sure it's good to go. There we go. I love it and not too bad. All right, we're gonna wrap it in some tissue paper first. Here we go. Whoops, careful mother goose. You are not coming along on this one. Oh, we got a little tissue paper. And of course this is gonna go in a plain poly envelope. I have over here. Now I don't have quite the right size. Once again, I ordered too small. So this actually is a 12 by 12. No, this is bigger than 12 by. This is 24 inch by 24 inch. I you'd normally use these for like blankets and quilts. And I happen to have a lot of them, so it's okay for me to use one. It's just not optimal because they cost more than the smaller ones. So that wasn't great planning on my part. But it happens. All right, so we are going to fold this over like so. Put a little piece of tape just to tack it down first. And then I'm going to get this end. Just like that. And what I'm going to do is make sure there's no little loose ends that can get caught in any kind of processing equipment. So we make sure all these ends are fastened down. Then I'm going to go all the way across here. Sorry, that was probably really loud. Okay, there we go, like so. And just a couple more, just to... And that's it, our pillow is ready to go. All right, next let's do Little Miss Mother Goose. This ended up being a surprise to me. I picked her up because she was just so stinking cute and you can tell she was done with quality. I mean, she's very, very detailed. Here's the bottom, which is a big HR, which I found out is Hagen Reniker. I didn't even know Hagen Reniker made such large figurines, but Apparently they did, and apparently this girl is now going to her new home. I listed her for $39.99, and she sold immediately. I don't blame her. She is so stinking cute. <laughs> We're going to wrap her up carefully. like so and she is going to go in... I 
think she'll fit in what I call the number four. Let's just see. Let's just see. Nope, she is too small. I mean, she is too big, and the number four is too small. So will she go in one of these? This is my eight by eight by eight that I get from eBay shipping supplies. Even that is going to be a list. It's good all around here, but it's not quite tall enough. I think. Hmm. Maybe I'll put two of these together. That's what I'm going to do. So let me go get some peanuts first and then we'll stack the other one on top. All right, so I didn't quite finish the peanuts off because I have to put another box on here. So I take the same size box and I'm just going to place it over this one like so. And you got to really kind of scrunch it down on there sometimes. Corners like to get stuck, and don't worry if they tear a little, because we're going to use tape. Oh, you know we're going to use tape. <laughs> this one doesn't want to squish down on there. Come on. There we go. On there there we go all right now I can finish off the peanuts and now the added benefit is that this box is double strong for any kind of crushing and now I'm gonna just ever so slightly press that on there all the way there we go and let's tape it up easier sometimes on those last little edges just to use my little handheld fasten those down versus wrestling with the uh, the gun okay there she is and I think she's still able to go first class she's still light enough even with two boxes so pretty happy with that. All right, there she goes. Next, we have the, this is the fossil trilobite um, trinket box, as you can see here. This sold for $29.99. Now, this is one of those few items that I'm going to put into a flat rate medium size box because it's quite heavy. It is all stone. But first, we do need to bubble it up. So let us bubble it up. Put that lid back on there with some protection in between, and then I'm going to wrap it all together. Keep it nice and safe. Many of you have asked, what I paid for the items. And honestly, I don't have that information in front of me when I am doing the shipping portion of my business. And, um, but if you watch my thrifting videos, I tell you everything that I buy, what I pay for it. And now I'm adding in what I'm going to list it for or its value if it's not going to get listed. So there we go. This is going to fit right nice in here, and we're going to go put some... Actually, this is one of those items I don't have to use. Peanuts, it's not super fragile, and it doesn't matter how much heavier I make the box, so I'm going to use paper. And I don't normally use paper, because it's not as shock-absorbing. But in this case, we're going to use it. And 
I'm going to use a lot. I got to get some more. There we go. And just like with peanuts, you want it to be nice and snug. And there we go. This is a medium flat rate. I don't even know what these cost now. I think it's around 12 bucks, if I'm not mistaken, which is going to be less. I, it could be a little bit more. Could be a little bit more. Um, I will add that when I edit the video. Um, but this, uh, is ready to go. All right, let's do these really awesome boots that I had to contemplate keeping because they're really cute, but I don't wear anything with a heel anymore. Um, these are by Dingo brand. You can see barely worn. I'm a little bit nervous because the person who bought them did ask me if they were true to size because she wears a half a size bigger than this. We'll see. Um, but that's what happens when you sell clothing and shoes. You just got to go with the flow. Now these sold for $40 on an offer. So $40 on an offer. Let's give them some bubble to prevent any scuffing. It's been a while since I've shipped a pair of shoes. You can tell, huh? Like, how do they go? Here we go. There we go. And I didn't get quite enough bubble. That's okay. I'm going to get one more piece to go the other way. what I call the number seven. It's the 12 by 12 by eight from the USPS. And you can see they're going to fit down in there really nice. I don't need to use peanuts on these either. So I've got some of this paper still here. Let's just do this. And I don't have quite enough. I have to go get more. actual newspaper. Don't ever use a newspaper. Newspaper is dirty. Customers hate it. Unless you're selling like, I don't know, used car parts, then your customer probably doesn't care. But for the things that I sell, the antiques, collectibles, home goods, clothing, shoes, newspaper is a no-no. Plain newsprint. If you have to use paper, make sure it's plain. No ink. All right, let's tape this up. we go. Now the last two items that I have to ship, both were sold on Facebook Marketplace, who was doing a promo over the weekend for customers to get free shipping on items that were $25 or more. Pretty smart by Facebook to start building up the inventory that's available for when they start charging their sellers, which will happen. I guarantee it. All right, let me do this one. And let's get some bubble wrap and then I'll tell you what it is. So this item I have had listed in my eBay store for a while, actually. 
Um, I believe Crazy Lamp Lady researched and found, actually she found one with a label on it, that this was made for Princess House. It's a very mid-century, vibey, pretty bowl. I don't know if you can see all, I see these now quite often, uh, so I don't pick them up anymore, but I'm happy to have sold this one for $25, $25. Actually, the customer wanted to do 20, but that would have made the shipping like eight bucks, according to Facebook's labeling. And so she chose to pay the 25, probably pretty smart. It's an odd shape for bubbling up, but that's okay. All right, and this is also going to go into a number seven, but this one is going to get peanuts because it is glass. All right, there is our first layer of peanuts, and now I'm gonna go finish it off. Okay, there's our peanuts. And let's finish it off. And you might notice that I'm going to use the eBay tape because they just want the product. I don't think they're really gonna pay attention that it has eBay tape. And hey, here's the thing that the Facebook Marketplace customers have is direct access to ask us question and talk to us. So if she says, hey, you had eBay tape on that. Do you sell on eBay? I can point her to my eBay store. I could have done it in a packing slip as well, but you know me, I don't do packing slips. So lots more communication with your customers, which eBay is cutting off from us. So lesson eBay, lesson. And there we go. First marketplace order, ready to go. All right, last but not least, this is, now I was told this is a cigar ashtray. That's what these big wide divots in the corner are for. I've had other people tell me these would have been for spoons. This is some sort of a, a dessert basket. I don't know because you can use it for whatever you want. Um, it is by a company called Meriden. I don't know if I'm going to be able to show you that mark, but Meriden is a really good name in, and it's quad plate. So it's silver plate, but it's quadruple plate is what they call it. And it is tarnished, which I did disclose. This is an old, old piece and it's really cool. And it's got a sailboat little design in the middle, which leads me to probably think it could be for cigars, if it's got a manly thing in the middle here, very, very Art Nouveau is what it is. And we're gonna give it some bubble wrap after I tell you that this also sold on Facebook Marketplace for $60, $60. Now the way Facebook Marketplace is doing their sales is that you do not get paid until the customer gets their product. I can understand they have to do that. And several marketplaces do that, so I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it. We've been a little spoiled with the instant payment of eBay, for sure. All right, I'm gonna put a little bit going this way too. It's not breakable but it's bendable. So for that reason, we're gonna make sure it's super protected. Like so. And this is also going to fit in the number seven box. So I will show you. I'm gonna go right down in there and we are gonna put some peanuts in first. All right, it is all peanutted up. I had to squeeze them down and around. We're gonna squish it down. Oh, I'm gonna do the other flap first. Oh, they're all sticky to my hands. These are the anti-static, not so anti-static peanuts that are disappointing me right now. Right. I get the pink ones just for that reason. And 
there it is. Ready to go. And as usual, I'm just going to write on there. And with that, our shipping is done. And you might notice it didn't have too many things to ship for a Monday as usual. Uh, but I have to tell you, I have not been listing very good because I got some personal stuff going on here at home, which is slowing me down. Can't wait till it's over and I can get back up to speed. But you know what? Sales are still consistent and that's the key. So <laughs> if you missed my Monday live show, I went over and demoed how I list this stuff to all the different sites, which I couldn't do it without my List Perfectly software. So if you want to see how that works, go watch my Monday live show and uh, let me know what you think. And with that, go be profitable and make it fun. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.